Hi everyone, my name is Gemma Lambert, 12 times UK Nail Champion, Nail Professional of the Year 2013 and I also won two Scratch Awards this year, Nail Artist of the Year and Nail Stylist of the Year. Welcome to the Nail Team's tutorial site on YouTube, hope you enjoy the videos, feel free to leave me any comments, thank you, bye! On this tutorial I'm going to do a French design using NSI black acrylic and Nail Team chunky black glitter and Nail Team orange glitter. A little bit of a Halloween type theme. I'm going to cover smile lines in the reverse method because I do get asked about that a lot on the Nail Team page. Into your liquid, all the way back, into your powder, one, two, three. Take the liquid out of the bead, place it on in a reverse method. Wipe your brush so there's no excess liquid in your brush and then start to pull your smile line with the tip of your brush back towards your client's cuticle. And you can see I'm rolling this tip and I would do that with a client's finger. Then use your brush in a sweeping motion to create more of a triangle shape. And if you think triangle in your head and then just round off the top of that smile line, you'll get a much deeper smile line. But make sure it's a nice sweeping motion, not stabbing. Belly of your brush to pat it down. And you can see you've got quite a good amount of time to play with this. This is NSI Rose Blush. Your next bead of cover pink, you're not going to take the liquid out. And that way, that cover pink will blend down to the client's natural nail and up towards the bead you've already applied. Just check that none's gone over your smile line. And now we're ready to do our French. Now working with black can be difficult. So what you have to do is pick up your black, take the liquid out of the black bead, that way you won't get as much bleeding when it goes onto the nail. Using the tip of my brush to push it up towards that smile line that we've already created with our cover pink. And then using the tip of my brush to blend it down. Give your brush a rinse before you then go and pick up anything else, just in case you've got any black powder left in your brush. I'm now going into my clear and into my black glitter. And same again for the orange. Remember when you're adding glitter it's a tapping motion. This nail's now ready for capping. So I'm using my NSI clear, crystal clear, purely because I've used black. If I was using purple, pink, blue tones I would cap with a transparent pink. But because I've used black we're going to cap with clear. Always looking at the nail from the side angle to see if I've got enough coverage.
by remembering when we do that bottom bead that's near the cuticle area tilt your client's nail down so that you can get your brush behind your bead so you don't end up with a ledge that you've got to file. I'm going to let that dry now and then we'll file it. do a little bit of hand painted work on this now so just get rid of your dust and then you're ready for hand painting so we're just going to do a basic spider's web I'm using my barber brush and my one move paints and I've watered them down a little bit so that they're nice and thin If you're getting too thicker lines, it either means that your paint's too thick, so add a little bit more water, or you're applying a little bit too much pressure. So nice and light. You can see I use my little finger as a guide, as a bit of support. And then I'm just going to highlight some of my areas with white paint. I'm going to wait for that to dry and then apply your glaze and go. Now because you've added water to your, pig to your paints, you don't need to apply two layers of glaze and go you'll be fine with just one that can now go into the lamp so that nail's come out the lamp and it's now done If you would like to purchase any of the products that I've used today, please contact us at www.thenailteam.com or you can always pop into our shop in Doncaster.